Scotland Place. Yes, Terry, good evening. It, it, you can see the place has changed tremendously in 20 years. I mean, one of the things since you were here is that they've now got electricity. Over here we have got the Radio 1 sponge in its natural environment. Many people queue up to win these wonderful prizes. There it is growing on the seabed. And there's the Radio 1 bug on its holidays on a tropical island. Nobody has seen that picture before. It's a world exclusive. And so's this. This is my card to get into the studio. So I put it through there like that and open the door. Come with me to the Fun Palace. Evening. Come with me. <laughs> One of the things we have these days is a Radio 1 relaxation area for the DJs. We have the fruit machine out here and, of course, the Radio 1 DJ dartboard in the corner. Uh, this is one of these new pub trivia machines you may have seen. Actually, the answer is... Uh... Oh, I thought it was Wham! Sorry. <laughs> Over here is uh, the Radio 1 photo memory board. Steve Wright and the geese there from a few years ago. Hi. 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 The oxygen chamber's just down there on the right. Well, it's, um, it's that time of night. Bruno's on the air at the moment, so let's go and join him. Hi, Mike. How are you? Sorry about the mess. No, it's all right. It's all right. I'll just fade this record out just a little bit here, if you don't mind. Yeah, this, is the, uh, this is the studio which I use this first thing <laughs> in the morning, and then Gary comes in at lunchtime, Bruno comes in, and John Peel finishes off, and we all sort of clear up after each other. And we've got to explain how it works. Well, yes, it, it looks complicated. It's not really that complicated. In fact, it's more complicated next door. I mean, we've got the turntable here, which is a, a far cry from the old Dan set. It's, it's quite clever in many ways, because... It doesn't only go forward... It's got Terry like, Wogan above like, it, no. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't only go forward, but it also goes in reverse. And the nice thing is it'll stop where you want it to stop as well, hopefully. So Radio 1 can go backwards right for the there. next 20 years. Absolutely. And we're going on to compact disc with jingles, aren't we, this week? Yeah, in fact, uh, I believe that we are the only radio station anywhere in the world now with our new jingle package on CD. Let's Shock have a, let's horror. Have, let's have a quick look at that. There they are. Excellent, huh? How Great. could we ever afford such a brilliant thing? Ah, uh, well, you see, it's always surprising. How does this work? Well, this is the CD player. There's one of two, of course. Uh, these are the, the professional ones, which uh, allow you to queue up exactly where you, um, where you need to queue. I tell you what, we'll select one of the 50 jingles on the CD. We'll go for number five. You're not going to play a jingle before they're launched. I might do, can I? Go on, on. Go on let's go above. for number five. This is the new Top 40 jingle, actually, because, of course, the new Top 40 starts on Sunday. Have a listen to this. The official Top 40 in stereo FM Britain's favourite radio I love those northern accents in there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, we've got Janice Long with us this evening as well, because she's about to go on the air in the next studio That's in right. just a few minutes' time. Hello. Hello, Hello. I've got caught on she, a bulldog clip. She, yeah, on the top of Terry Wogan's head. <laughs> what is, why is there a bulldog clip on the top of Terry Wogan's head? <laughs> <laughs> you are unique because you are the only Radio 1 DJ who's pregnant. Not the first to have a baby, because Annie Nightingale, of course, has got children yes. and the ranking was P, but yes, yes. So when's the baby due? It's due at the end of January, beginning of February, so can't wait. And you can, you're just going to keep working yeah. right the way through? Yeah, carry on, take a break and then come back. Well, that'll be nice. Yeah. What about Radio 1 20 years ago? Where were you? Were you listening to Radio 1 20 years ago? Um, I honestly can't remember. I don't think I was, but I do remember listening to Johnny Walker. Um, I remember him, but he was a sort of great influence and made me go out and buy records. He used to play things like um, The Poacher and uh, Steve Miller and things like that, and he inspired me to, to go out and spend my pocket money on And, of course, records. he's back with us now as well. Yeah, of course, Saturdays, yeah. Bruno, yeah. were you listening to Radio 1 when it started? Well, no, I wasn't. I mean, I'd be just five then at the time or thereabouts. In fact, my first taste of radio was uh, whilst Mum was running a guest house and Jimmy Young would be playing... Uh, you know, those, those, those old hits on Radio 2. Was it Radio 2 or Radio 1 and Radio 2 were linked at that time, weren't they? They sort of mixed yeah. and matched, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we are, you see, we're supposed to be the teenage network. We're supposed to be feeding the teenagers of the United Kingdom. Do you think it's a job we do well? Well, all I can say is that uh, we conducted a survey uh, and found out who actually listens to the show that I do and what sort of things that they wanted to hear, what sort of music, what sort of papers they read, how they voted, all of those sort of things. And uh, consequently, we, we sort of tailor the show um, in that direction. And that's why we do a lot of features on the show. We might be discussing Nicaragua tonight. We're looking at the Labour, Labour Party conference, or we could be doing a, a report on racial harassment. And apart from um, the sort of music they want, I'm scouring the country looking for new bands and playing the sort of music that they want to hear. So from my point of view, yes, I think we are. How different is a DJ today from what a DJ would have been 20 years ago, apart from the haircuts? Oh, definitely the haircuts. <laughs> it changed. Fact, yeah, mine hasn't been cut <laughs> since the 70s. You can probably, probably see that. <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, there's, there's more to radio than just music today. I think it's a question of entertainment now. And uh, in some ways, being a little more creative. 
<laughs> Seriously. Is it? I, 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 I think there's just a little bit more than just sort of playing one record, that was, this is, and playing the next, you know. Just a, minute, just a minute, just a minute. Everybody's head wants to talk to you. <laughs> just a cotton pick a minute there. See, the implication being, of course, that 20 years ago there was no entertainment on the radio, it was just music. <laughs> Yeah, but we haven't got auto cue today. <laughs> That's true, nor, nor indeed idiot boards. And from listening to the three of you talk, you were missing them, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you for the insight, Mike, and, and you too, Bruno and, and, and Janice. And uh, I've got I've got John and, and Tony with me, who you've probably seen. And we're, we're honoured and delighted to be part of this whole Radio One extravaganza, aren't we? And, and how good to have a pregnant disc jockey on the show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My compliments to you, John, and perhaps you'll lose weight later on. <laughs> but any, any, any message for, for John or Tony before we leave you, chaps and lady? No, not at all. It's, yes. it's, it's, oh, you've got a Janet has a we, message. Because of all of these television people here, we've run out of milk, so can you bring some in, John? I will do. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd turn out to be good for something one of these days. Yeah. Thank you all, all three of you. Thanks a lot, Mike and Bruno and Janice. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 You see, all of that electronic miracle, you wouldn't have been able to do that. This is true. 20 years ago. Isn't it yeah. tremendously exciting? And, oh, it is. And so they I, only put a man on yeah. the moon 20 years ago as well. It's terrific. I mean, those studios are beautiful studios now. And uh, But uh, what they say on the main thing is the music, and the music's still good, isn't it? It is. The music's yeah. terrific. And, uh, well, some of it. Yeah? Some of it. So. But a lot some, of it, a lot of it some of it was all. I mean, you can't love it all. No, well, I mean, uh, it would be silly to say... I, I never say to my son that, uh, you know, they don't write songs like they used to. I mean, my dad used to say that to me, and that's just the ri most ridiculous thing to say, yeah. that, isn't it? But I think the music today is wonderful, and, uh, as you say, the new electronic techniques with satellite and everything now, it's a really exciting time to be in broadcasting. Do you think it's moving forward, though? I mean, um, technologically it's better, but is it, is it moving forward? Or were, you, were you disappointed after the, that blip of excitement with punk? It kind of settled down again? Well, yeah, there was that, but I mean, it's still there's still a lot of exciting stuff around. You have to look further afield for it. I say I'm, I'm not a, I'm not impressed by technology, unfortunately, unlike mm. uh, Tony here, because I don't understand it. I'm a, I, I, tech, technology leaves me after the toothbrush, you know. I mean, so, and, so I just have two turntables and a microphone, and any time I try to involve more machinery than that, I usually get it wrong. So I'm not really that fascinated by the technology. And compact discs and things... I had a compact disc player for two years mm. before I eventually found out how to plumb it into a system. <laughs> and I never use it, you know, so it's... Uh, I mean, I, I just like doing... Just like me, a microphone and two turntables. Sounds very romantic. But radio's but better it now than it, than, it, than it was 20 years ago, because it's faster, it's uh, more precise, and the whole thing is better. And, of course, with Radio 1, if you remember, we used to have to share the wavelengths with Radio 2 in the afternoon. I so. used to welcome that, yes, because I was the one who shared it. I know. So I know. now, <laughs> I must love you and leave you, but in the meantime, thank you, Tony and John, for joining us. Thank you very much. <laughs>